This is a common exam problem in thermodynamics. We're going to learn how to calculate the work done for a chemical reaction. And this is the exam problem right here. Calculate the work done in kilojoules for the combustion of 3.50 grams of C3H8, this is propane, under constant pressure at 1200 Kelvin. And we don't know what the pressure is. So this is, this is a number we don't know. And we are not given a pressure, we're given a temperature. And they do this sometimes in problems. Uh, it says constant pressure and then we're given a temperature. So we have to assume that this temperature is constant as well because it's at this temperature and we don't know what the pressure is. Okay, so for pressure volume work, because these, this is, these are gases that are doing work, so there's gonna be expansion or compression. So work is negative P delta V. This is true for constant pressure uh, processes, PV work only. Now we don't know how much the volume is going to change. So we're gonna to jump to the ideal gas law, ideal gas equation. And since pressure is constant, P delta V is going to equal to, now what's changing on this side? Well, the moles are changing because for every six moles of reactants that react, we get seven moles of product. So we're actually going to get more moles as, of gas as the reaction proceeds. So there's going to be some change in moles going on, or is the gas constant and temperature is constant as well? Well, see this PV delta Delta V, P delta V, we're going to substitute that in for, substitute this, delta N R T in for this here. So negative delta N R T. Okay, now we know the temperature is constant, but we don't know the change in moles. And we're going to use that, we're going to calculate it based on the balanced equation. So our, our delta moles, I'll do it in red, so it's kind of nice and pretty. <laughs> A change means final minus initial, always usually always, and the final, in this case, are the products, moles of the products, minus moles of the reactants. And for the balanced equation, using this balanced equation, we have seven moles of products that are produced for every six moles of reactants. Oh, six moles, it's supposed to be a mole, sorry if it's messy, six moles. Okay, so that's just, just literally one mole there. So we're going to plug that into here and I'm, I'm going to come down and write it here so it's nice and clean. So the change in moles for the reaction, for this reaction, balanced, using the balanced equation, is one mole and R. Now work has to be in joules or kilojoules or something similar. So our R is going to be the one with joules, 8.3145 joules per mole Kelvin. And our temperature is two, nope, 1200, 1200 Kelvin. Okay, so we'll plug this into our calculator. Negative one times 8.3145 times 1200. I love these calculators where you can see what you can type, what you're typing. You can see if I made an error or not. So negative 9977, it's a nice number equals negative 99.77. Now, if we look at the units, this is super important. It looks like moles cancels up, cancel out and Kelvin's cancel out. So we're left with joules here. And you might be thinking, well, this is our answer. We have joules. This is how many joules of work uh, the, the system done, d does, right? It's negative work, uh, which means the gas expands. But we didn't even use the mass of the propane here. All we used was the balanced chemical equation. Now, we didn't do anything wrong. What this work represents, it's not joules for this many grams of propane because we didn't use this number. It's this many joules of work for one mole of propane because this, I'm going back and forth here, <laughs> up and down, but this, this value for work was calculated based on this balanced equation. So that's how much work is done if one mole of propane reacts with five moles of oxygen to produce three moles of CO2 and four moles of water. So that's, that's how much work, the amount of work we calculated is the amount of work assuming one mole of propane reacted fully fully with the five moles of oxygen. So we could think of this as, as I'm gonna write it here, negative 99.77 joules for every one mole of propane, C3H8. 
and I'm just getting our sig figs right. We have two sig figs. Okay, now we don't want it. We don't care about how many joules there are for one mole. We want how many joules for this many grams. So we got to get to grams. So we will multiply it by our conversion factor, and we want moles to cancel out. So it'll go in the numerator, 63H8, and we want grams, joules per gram. So we'll have grams downstairs in the denominator. And for every one mole, there are, now you could add it up on the periodic table, but I'll just Google it to make it quicker. Here it is, 44.1. Uh, and moles of C3H8 cancel out. So now we're in joules per gram, and we don't care about joules for one gram. This is, so if we take this divided by that, it's how many joules per one gram. We want it in two point, oh, sorry, 3.50 grams. So we need to multiply this by, oh, 3.5, there we go, 3.5. I'm like a fish sometimes. <laughs> 3.50 grams of C3H8. And now our grams of C3HA cancel out and we'll get joules for, for that reaction. Okay, so we have, neg oh, I could have kept that number, negative 99.77 divided by 44.1 times 3.5 is negative 791.8, negative 7, negative, whoop, negative 791.8 joules. And that's how many joules of work. We'll run it to two sig figs. So negative 790 joules of work performed if these 3.5 grams of C3H8 react. And what does this mean? Well, it's negative. It's negative. That means the system loses energy. It loses energy in the form of work. So if you have gas particles here, that means they're expanding. They're pushing on this piston here. They're transferring energy in the form of work to the surroundings by pushing on this piston. So they're losing energy by pushing on the piston. Now, they're not just pushing, they're reacting, and we're creating more moles. See, for every six moles of reactants that react, we get seven moles of products. So it's like six moles to seven mole ratio. That means we're increasing the number of moles of gas. Well, we're pushing on this piston by creating more gas molecules. The more molecules we make, the, the, the more they continue to kind of push on this piston here. So they do work, negative work against the surroundings. All right, y'all, hope you enjoyed it. Hope everything made sense. I hope it was very clear. This has a lot of moving parts. Uh, if you're confused on anything, let me know and I can help clear it up. But anyways, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. I consider giving this video a like as it motivates me to make more. And anyways, I'll see you in the next video. All right, cheers.